Welcome back, thank you for joining me, and I'm just going to pause the game straight away because I've worked out what the problem was. Uh, we need to sign the law. We need to sign the law that gives us the uh, these guard towers. Go back, it's going to be find ways to fight discontent and restore hope. Neighbourhood watch, we've signed that. And that gave us the watchtower. Guard stations, here we are. Here we go down here. New building guard station. Guard station stations raise the hope of people living nearby. Um, so you can lower the, the, the discontent of, of, of people living nearby. You can use guard um, guards to break up protests. You'll have to build two guard stations. Discontent will rise slightly. Mm. Okay. Didn't know that a discontent would rise slightly, but that's cool. Okay, we can build the guard stations now anyway. Oh, we need st with steel, <laughs> and we've got how long have we got left? Um, okay, let's play the game then. We need steel. We need twenty steel to build our two guard towers. Are we going to be able to make it in time? So, we've got our two steel mines here. This one up working at forty percent because six of them are in treatment. Oh god! Um, right, let's get rid of. Let's put. We got rid of workers and swapped them for engineers, and we'll just see if going to build seven in treatment one good. So efficiency will rise once they get over to the um, to the steel works over there. We've got yeah, loads of people there. Automaton. Oh, we've got the automaton working at that steel work. So if we get rid of him and put we'll put the engineers on because I think fewer of those are. Building for going to build five. The efficiency will be higher once people get there. Oh wow! Look, we've got 730 coal. Ah, uh, we can, Oh god! Okay, we. Wow, we're collecting it quick. What's this? 16 homeless. Okay, that's because we're building all these um, bunk houses. That's where we used up all our steel. So we could go back in time and not use up all the steel. Then that might have been better. But we're bringing it in. We've got seven steel at the moment. We need another thirteen, and the work day's over. Okay, how long have we got? Time left. Well, we've got two days, nine hours to build the guard stations. We've got um, uh, another, you know, another twelve or so hours until the, the next working day starts. And actually, we've got so much coal. We could do with another, another storage depot to put it all in. So resource depot, resource depot. They've got different shapes because they're for different things. This one's for food rations. It can hold up to 450. We need that. And that one's currently for wood, but we don't need it anymore. Okay, so we can get rid of that and go for coal instead. And we can store up to 1,350 coal, which is pretty cool. So we've got much more capacity now. And we'll just keep an eye on the wood. Oh, dilemma. What are we saying? Cold homes, Captain. Some of our people are concerned about how low the temperature is in their homes. They, they quite sensibly point out that it's easy to fall ill when it's cold, and you are and and ask you to address the hot the problem. Oh right, you have to start heating four of the cold homes within two days, then keep them heated for two days. Start heating eight cold homes in twenty-four. Let's heat some homes. Thirty-nine Londoners. Oh God. Okay, we're pretty uh, pretty much under the gun at the moment. We've got to start heating homes. We can't put overdrive on yet because we're at 58, 57%. So we've got two challenges here: build two guard stations, and um, need some some more homes heated. Really, let's go on the temperature overlay. Uh, we've got quite a few bunk houses now, but look at all these tents. They're chilly. That's what we need to put into um, into overdrive, really. Okay, let's check out these um, steam hubs. So this steam hub is really heating up this area. So we need to turn the rest into bunk houses. I wonder if that will count. Secure at least livable conditions um, in homes. So these are these are livable conditions once they're made into bunk houses. So we just need to go extra on the steel to turn everything into a bunk house and um, and build our guard stations. Storage limit reached on the coal thumper. So that means we've got all the coal in the back. Yeah, that's cool. But we've got the maximum number of people um, available to gather it. 
Oh, and we're, we're not using our automaton, so why don't we put our automaton on the uh, the coal mine, so he can just work 24 hours and overnight. And then we have everyone else work everywhere else. And if we need to increase our efficiency, we'll just put people on the coal mine instead. Okay, I think that'll do. Cookhouse is closed. Uh, but we've got people working there. And look at all these extra people now. So we've got 23 uh, workers available, five engineers, and three children. We could definitely... Uh, yeah, we moved everyone off, didn't we? Because we weren't researching. Like, right, we need to put everyone back on, I think. So we just wanted to build all those bunk houses, didn't we? Okay, so let's get all the engineers off there. We'll put the workers back on and hope they, um, they improve. We've only got seven people injured, which is fine. Just got workers there. Get the engineers off there and do workers, and we'll get all our engineers back on research. Okay, so when the next working day starts, we're going to be doing some massive research, because we've got four workshops available now, with filled up with, uh, with researchers. We were just waiting for steel, weren't we? They all need steel. Alright, well, we do still have other priorities, but we're ready on the research anyway. Put back the um, the max number of people in the hothouse. So we've got the max number of people in both our hothouses and, um, and the hunting as well. We need to do some, some research. Right, let's fast forward the game a little bit. We're at 3 in the morning and our expedition team are 4 hours out to their goal. They've got 153 wood, 67 raw food. We're going after the American camp. That'll be interesting. See what's there. See what the, the Americans have left us. This medical post is empty. Don't need to fill it just yet. Oh, God, here yeah, we do. I didn't realise we've got extra sick people. Don't know where they come from. Oh, they must have come from um, all the homeless people from, from when we were building the, the shelters. Now, I guess I could have put the automaton on steel collection actually through the night. That was a bit silly, but it's fine just leaving them. Oh, God. The Londoners have gained ten more followers. The Londoners have a huge advantage over our forces. There's little we can do to stop them running amok. Hmm. Not sure what's going to happen then with all these Londoners. So we can get these um, watchtower, these watchtowers here upgraded to guard towers. So our total population is 178. We've got 49 Londoners. So if we do lose them all, we're going to be left with 129 uh, people, which is still quite a lot. And we can certainly go out and um, see if we can recruit some more. We're um, 42 minutes away from the world map on the next uh, the next location. And we're just about to start the next working day, so we're going to start bringing in, bringing in the steel big time. Sawmill over there with 267 wood left, so we've certainly been getting through the wood. Cool. It's an enormous area over here where we could uh, build a sawmill. Let's do that. So resources, sawmill, sawmill only costs 10 wood, we could put it there, but if we put the building here it will destroy some of the resources, that'll do, yep we're not destroying anything there, we'll lay down the extra sawmill because we need that, we'll join it up, fire the street and just go over here to the right, there we go. That'll get built in due course, I'm sure. Started the working day and we've got the steel coming in already and we can upgrade one of our watchtowers. Okay, the upgrade itself only costs an additional 8 wood, 6 steel. So that's interesting. Because the, uh, the cost that it tells you is 20 wood and 10 steel. So we'll just wait a little bit longer to get the rest of the steel. There we go, I think we're there. And uh, we need some workers to uh, 
to do that. So let's see where. Let's just take some people off the uh, the research because we don't quite need that yet. But we will soon. So we'll soon have the um, the steel. There we go. Ten ten engineers. And uh, there we know. Go now. Ten workers to upgrade the watchtower into the guard post, and we'll do the the other one as well. Eight. Eight wood, six steel. There we go. Just have a closer look at look at that. So there it is. Upgrade in progress. Let's uh, play the game. Speed it up a bit. Workers just need to get over, and then we'll start building. There we go. We're building. Five hours remaining, and we've got more steel now. So I'll just pause the game, and um, we can certainly upgrade a tent to a bunkhouse, so let's go on the temperature overlay. Yeah, it's all of them really. One, two, three, four, five, six tents. Yeah, let's do the upgrades on the tents first. There's one. An additional 12 wood and 10 steel for the for the upgrade. So that's where all our wood's going. Let's see what our hunting party's doing. They're out, they found the American camp. Uh, oh, right. Cool. They, they, they could get some steel back. That would be really, really welcome. And some steam cores. Let's explore that. Uh, site discovered. Temporary settlement. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching in tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. Well, Elon Musk has been busy. Um, we have own. We can only bury them and take their equipment. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's take the resources. One steam core and 56 steel. Now we need that steel, so we're going to get them to come back to camp if we can. How do we get them to go back to camp? Let's uh, click away from that. Let's get you to return home then. There we go. <laughs> Got there in the end. You just click on the on the location you want to send them to, and there's a green arrow. I keep forgetting that. Right. Let's. Um, so they're due back in 13 hours, 21 minutes, with a load of um, well, steam core and a load of steel, which will be very, very welcome. Might be the difference to um, upgrade all the homes that we need. Okay, we'll do that on normal speed. So where's our guard tower? I'm sure we've built one by now. Here we go. Being built. We'll see what that turns into. It's here in the screen and it's um, going to be completed very soon. Here we go. There it is. Wow, it's very wow, it's very tall. Okay. Wow, interesting. Okay. Passive effects. More than half of our people live near guard stations. The presence of guard um, of guards lowers discontent and restores the hope of people living nearby. I wonder out of these um, 49 Londoners if we can get any of them to uh, like change their minds. Oh, here we go. We've got more steel coming in. This is great. So let's do some more bunkhouses. Um, we'll be cautious how many we do at once, but just because we don't want too many people homeless. So we'll make sure one's built after another. We've got lots of steel coming in now, actually. God, and look at all the coal coming in. We've got nearly a 1,000. Um, 244 trees, so even trees are coming in pretty quick. Um, guard stations built. Okay, hope prizes. Thank goodness for that. We've got all of our medical tents full. Remember, they're on that higher efficiency of 110%, and so we've got 15 people being treated. But I think a lot of them did come from the, the coal tents. We go. Let's just put maximum number of people back on. So we've got 47 still. We might be able to do some research actually. Let's just do another bunkhouse first. So because that other one's been built, Are those tents up there as well. Might need to do those. Okay, we're getting there, and and we're we're part way through our goal actually. We need to make um, at least two out of three livable. We've got 24 hours to go, um, so just one more, which is this one, and we're done. So that'll be our goal. Go on, take some of the Lon Lon Londoners back. There we go, goal complete. Keep homes warm. Okay, that's good. Well, let's just keep making them warm. There's some up here, some down here. Let's do, do these that are out on a limb. Just do one at a time. 
27 still left, which means... Oh, brilliant, everyone's back. Right, okay, so we've got 67 more raw food. We've got another steam core, 153 wood. Ooh, I wonder if that'll take us over our storage limit. Uh, 56 steel. Oh no, right on the edge of our storage limit for wood. Okay, let's do some research. We've got enough steel. What are we going to go for? We've got everything there. We could do with going on to the next level, couldn't we? I wonder, we, we could have more scout, another scouting team. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go on the next level and just see what we can build then. Got 13 people ill, down from 15. Ooh, 14 now. What's out here? This is our new sawmill. Great. Okay, so we've got 1,700 wood that we can get from there. We'll wait until the other one's been um, exhausted and, and we can move everyone over. I don't think we're in a desperate need for wood right now. You never know. So 196 left. Okay, that can keep running. Another ill person. We'll keep keep doing the bunkhouses. We're building them pretty quickly. And we are uh, go on the research in that next level. Okay, we'll see how that goes. Have we got people in our... Yep, these are all on max. So research stopped because we're not in the working day. Just waiting for that to start. Upgrading these. There we go. The, cr the building crews arrived at these tents. So they're going to be upgrading that to a bunkhouse. Really important to upgrade these buildings when you can. This is our main residential area over here. Okay, so we'll just um, do another one because it'll take time to come over. There we go, another bunkhouse in the process of being upgraded. Oh, and we do have six homeless. Okay, we'll wait next time. 283 wood out of probably 300 total capacity. Oh wow, look, we've got 100 raw food. So when the next working day starts, we can get the, the, the cookhouse active. I'm just trying to think where everything is now. Uh, cookhouse is around here, isn't it? Over there. And we got five people employed, so they'll they'll get that food uh, cooked as soon as possible. We've got the extra resource station, so we can store um, up to 450 food rations in total. I think is that in total. Or is that additional? Raw food, we can do 300 there, so maybe it's on top. So 450 plus 300 is 450, so that's a good, good volume. Yep, plenty of storage uh, left for food then. Here we go, here's our additional bunkhouse being built. We'll put another one on. Because we, we built um, a bit of capacity so that whenever our people are made homeless they've got a spare place to go just there on the corner that was the the one okay bunkhouse here one more bunkhouse to go and then all of our tents are done so we, we may have been able to to do that promise that said um, you know make convert them all but I wasn't sure if we could now the second part of this promise is that we need to maintain at least livable um, living conditions in the home and actually if you have a look at, at this we've got 53 uh, Londoners now got a feeling that some people turned over to the London side when we made them homeless uh, with their tents, so that's something to know about, I'd, I'd imagine. Okay. Looking good. 51 steel, over a thousand coal now. We're doing very well with our resources, we're, we're just not doing very well with this whole London situation. That was um, something put in by the game. I don't know if you'd uh, you'd find an endless mode, but maybe. It's a good scenario, though. Really makes you think. Forces your your move in some some areas. We're just about to build this last bunkhouse. Three hours left, and we're just about to um, research that that next tier of, of, of technology as well. And there's definitely some going to be some interesting things in there that we we could do with. For example, if we could build another automaton. And that would save some of our people having to go out in the cold. Especially, oh god, look, there's a double 
dip coming. Oh my god. So we're already at minus 40. How on earth are we going to survive a double dip in temperature? Where's that going to go to? Minus 60? Is that even possible? Oh dear. Um, okay, let's go straight on the research. Uh, okay, we can go improve teeters. Um, steam hub range upgrade. Mm, this is going to be pretty difficult. Um, we definitely need to do something about heat. Got a factory there. A plant where automatons and other highly advanced devices uh, can be produced. So we could build we could build a factory and then build automatons that basically can go out instead of people, but they're not very efficient. I think we might need to invest in the people first. Resources. Things like optimization and some large resource depots there, which we could need um, shortly. But equally, we're, we're bringing in so much coal now. Allows us, so generator power upgrade allows us to raise the temperature in all heat zones by one level. Um, coal consumption is doubled when this setting is in, in use. I think we're going to have to go for that because of the double coal dip coming. Lucky that we've um, upgraded every every tent into a, a bunkhouse, and we've got we've got the coal, uh, the coal uh, mine, and the coal thumper working very well. Might have to think about the um, improved heaters as well. We've got a couple of three days to do it, and we've got a lot of a lot of people doing the research at the moment, so we might might be able to get through it. See, so last bunkhouse um, on its way to being constructed. We've got plenty of um, plenty of steel now. Got a good amount of wood. We've really got the coal coming in, haven't we? I wonder if we could do with another coal mine. But the coal thumper's working pretty well. If we have a look on the temperature overlay, um, for now, all our all our residential buildings are very happy. They're livable. So a very low chance of getting cold. Oh, this workshop will put the heat on. And um, oh, that's, yeah, we do. steel works. We can put the heat on. I think we had our automaton there before. Okay, so we've got the heat on everywhere we can, and um, just not at that sawmill that's being unused at the moment. And look at this area there where we've got the extra steam hub, helping everyone working in that zone. So that's why that coal thumper's doing well. Because it's uh, it's got a bit of extra heat heating around it, so that, yeah, that's pretty cool. And I'm just thinking, actually, if we did a, a steam hub over here, that would cover our steel work, our two steel works, which are chilly at the moment, and that does give a low risk of getting ill. Hmm, something worth thinking about. And I wonder if it would cover our hunting stations as well. Why don't we just um, see if it will cover it first? Steam hub. If we put it there, it would just about cover it, and then we, we've got room for a couple of buildings here. Let's just build it and see what it does. That'd be interesting. See if it covers the uh, hunting cabins. I've got to, got to hope it would. So we've got a lot of people there as well. We've got 15, 15, and then 10 and 10, so that would certainly be, be worthwhile, and it might keep down the amount of um, ill people. Just about to build our last... Uh, bunkhouse here. We've just spotted our automaton coming back for a refuel. Recharge. There he is over there. Going to refuel. There we go. Activity. That's where you find it. Oh, here we go. Our people are waiting. Let's see what they have to say. They've come back. They've come back. That's right. So let's send you back out to the temporary settlement. Over there. Now, let's just see about this extra scouting group, then. I think we've had uh, the option off for some time. We just need 40 wood and 5 workers free. So we need to make 5 workers free. Uh, which would be easier said than done. could probably reduce them down from the steelworks now. I'll do that for now, and then we could always fill them up with someone else. More scouts, there we go. Okay, here's our second team. So we'll send you out here into the gloomy cave. Oh, awesome. So we've got two teams working now. 
Um, we've got some pretty good um, stuff going on with our people in, in camp. We've got 13 ill once that new person goes in. Four workshops full of engineers doing our, our research. We've done it? Yeah, we've we've done we've done the research on the um, power upgrade. I didn't see that come in. Generator efficiency upgrade. What's that? The generator will burn 10% less coal. Oh, that would definitely be good. Be a good idea. Oh yeah, let's do that for sure. Okay, 53 Londoners. Just need to stop um, anyone else from going there with them. 36 steel, 433 food. Look, our food is going up, our coal is going up, our wood is maintaining. Steel's always kind of there or thereabouts, maybe a bit low on it. And we've got three steam cores, of which... Here we go. We've just built one there. Let's put it on um, on the working day uh, and see what that does. That'd be good. Quite happy with our two scouting teams. That that's a good one. Okay, so we've done quite a lot in this episode. We've expanded our our research hugely. Um, we've got a reserve sawmill for when this runs out, and it's got a huge amount that it can it can collect. It's seventeen hundred wood. Um, so we can sure to turn the heater on when we get out there. Got the um, So storage is full, so we just need people to collect there now, for which we've got all the people we can get. The only, the only thing is the temperature's cold, but didn't we boost that? It's got the temperature overlay. Oh no. Yeah, it's still pre pretty chilly out there. What's happened then? Oh, it's not the working day. Yeah, that's right. So when, when it's the working day, that's going to kick in with a Increased heat. Yeah, these are all a bit chilly, but the the heaters will come on when the working day starts. There, this building, the hot house, pretty cold. Okay, looking good, looking good so far. It'll be interesting to put the um, the heat overlay on when the the next working day starts. So we'll, we'll speed up a bit, and um, this zone should be nice and toasty as usual, and uh, this zone should be a bit warmer as well. Dilemma. Food theft. Someone has stolen 75 food rations. You're kidding from the stockpiles. People are saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for their journey. It seems this ridiculous idea of leaving uh, for London is gaining traction. Oh dear. Uh, we've got to definitely... Yeah, discontent will rise if we leave them. We've, surely we've got to send our guards to catch them. Let's do it. What's the result? Guards succeeded over here, it says. Mark. 385 food. Thought we might get a message in the middle. Okay, that's good. The guard succeeded. A handful of people may join the Londoners. Londoners. Got nine people ill, which is doing really well. Uh, just one person to add to those. So we've got the option of building another workshop in case we get lots of people better and we don't need them in the, uh, the first aid stations so we could do that although we've got four already the Londoners gain more followers so they've got two more followers not sure where they came from I feel as though I'm looking after everyone pretty well okay well let's speed up the game a bit we're going into our next working day Here we go work time so coal goes up pretty quickly. Let's have a look at this overlay. Oh wow, look. So our heated area over here is super toasty. Uh, automatons over there, so we don't need to heat the, the coal mine. It doesn't matter. The sawmill over there might be a bit, bit of an issue. The cookhouse is chilly. And the hothouse. These are all livable. Our workshops. So really, with a little bit of adjustment, we could maybe move our cookhouse and our hothouse over here and put a steam hub in to keep everyone warm. We could do that. Build another cookhouse and hothouse. Hmm. I wonder if that's worth doing. Then we could just dismantle them when we're finished. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be worth doing because the the this double dipping in temperature is coming, uh, but then it it eases off a couple of days later. So we can now see that we've got a temperature rise coming, but God, that's going to be incredibly um, difficult for a couple of days. It's going to be. Um, I wonder which one we should do first. I mean, it's going to be the cookhouse more important, but we've got so much food we could probably ride out these two days. I, although, although I don't know. Let's just try it and see if it works. So we've got a um, cookhouse there. And do we have enough for a hot house as well? Oh yeah, it fits in that big gap there. Let's uh, do the roads. We'll join it up to here. We go. And we'll, we'll wait for that to be constructed. So when our cold snap hits in a couple of days, we, we'll, yeah, we'll they'll be built for sure, really pretty easily. I think we should have some, some people out there, have we? No, everyone's employed. Cool. That's efficient. Generator efficiency research. Let's get something else back. Right on. Straight away. Generator range upgrade. Allows us to turn up the generator range setting and extend its heat zone. Note the coal used by the generator is doubled or improved heaters. Improved heaters raise the temperature of workplaces by two levels. Each heater consumes two, two coal per hour when running. Steam hub range upgrade. Heat zones around the steam hubs can be extended 50% further. Note steam hub will consume twice as much coal when the setting is active. Everything consumes twice as much coal. Let's do improved heaters for now. Just because we do have a lot of heaters on. And it'll be good to have that option because we're going to be going into a pretty serious situation. We might be getting more people who are going to be a bit discontented and join the Londoners. We'll see. Okay, this is built, is it? No, nope, waiting for workers. Okay, so we're at a point where we're, we're kind of rejigging our our camp. Got some new buildings built. Got a new team of scouts going out and about. Huge amount of coal and food. Getting there on the steam. On on the steel, I mean. Getting pretty happy with the steel. Okay, we've we'll started building these other buildings, so okay, join me uh, in the next episode to see how we get on with these Londoners. And um, thank you for watching.